As a space scientist, I've seen many mirrors coated in the past. But the people have been given the daunting task of coating the James Webb mirrors are the technicians here at Quantum Coatings in New Jersey. And I'm about to find out how they do it. The mirrors have to be perfect. The tiniest speck of dust could be disastrous. So Quantum's lab is one of the cleanest rooms in the world. More spotless even than a hospital operating theatre. This hexagonal pane of glass is an exact template of the metal sheets that will make up the James Webb's mirror. They're made of beryllium, a very rare and extremely strong and lightweight metal. That gun has dry ionised nitrogen gas. He's blowing the surface off. So this is our last chance to blow off any last remaining particles before it goes in the chamber. The glass is then carefully placed in a large vacuum chamber. The mirror's in there now, everything's ready to go, so, and I've got the pleasure of shutting the door. For two hours, all the air and any remnants of dust are extracted from the chamber, until finally the gold is added. Gold is used for the coating because it reflects infrared light so well. The part of the spectrum the James Webb cameras use for imaging. First, it's heated with a laser, vaporising it. How much gold are we talking? The amount of gold that we evaporate is about 40 grams. The amount that gets onto the mirror is uh, a quarter of that, just a few grams. You, you must be talking about a fairly thin coating of gold. To put it in perspective, one sheet of paper is about a thousandth of an inch thick. We could fit 100 gold coatings into that piece of paper. Into a single piece of paper? That's right. The result? One of the most perfect mirrors on Earth. So here we are. Wow. That is lovely. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's just so smooth. I think I've never seen my reflection so clearly. I think the fantastic thing is the idea that this coating is going to be out in space <laughs> and on sort of 18 mirrors like this is quite phenomenal. It's quite a thought. 